Right then guys, welcome back to Dolphin Golfing and welcome back to a special golf ball reviews. Now in this one today, I have the tailor-made soft response golf ball. This is the first tailor-made golf ball I have reviewed on this channel. And the claims that tailor-made are making about this golf ball are absolutely ridiculous. Now I want to put these claims to the test. I want to see if what tailor-made is saying about this golf ball is true. So we're gonna start off with some chipping here at Tinsley Park, and then we're gonna get out on the course and we're gonna do some full shots, driver shots, all the lot. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share the video around and make sure you post your comments down below so you don't miss out on any other golf ball reviews that I do. So unlike other golf ball reviews, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the technology of this golf ball uh, out here on the golf course. And I will be putting a little like sort of video recording of me scrolling through TaylorMade's website and seeing what they're saying about this golf ball. Now, the first thing TaylorMade is saying about this golf ball is that it's one of the softest golf balls. In fact, I think they're claiming it's the softest golf ball ever, which is a bold statement by TaylorMade to make. In my opinion, some of the softest golf balls I've felt is the Shrix and Ulti Soft and the Callaway Chrome Soft. So it will be interesting to see if this does match up to them. Another thing TaylorMade is saying is this golf ball is good for slower swing speeds, which would suit me because I have the slower swing speed. And also they're saying that because of the softness and the core and the shell, that you're gonna get more distance. So also we will be seeing how much distance we do get. So let's get some chipping done and let's see if this golf ball is cracked up to what it's meant to be. Right then guys, first things first, chipping. I've got three uh, of the TaylorMade soft responses here. I'm just gonna see how it feels on this um, practice area. So we are gonna just do a nice bit of chipping just to see how it feels off the plug face. Little low one. Now, it did have a nice bit of stoppage on. Yeah, it's sitting dead at the minute, mainly, I think, because of the winter greens here. Um, it should be interesting in summer golf what these things do as well, guys. And yeah, that's fine next that one. Don't feel too bad. Right, so we're at the other side of the uh, practice green, guys. We're gonna give these ones um, a little bit more. I'm gonna try and hit it back up to you guys. Um, and we're gonna see what this feels like off the face. It's hard to tell. I mean, the spin does feel good. We're gonna go again. Yeah, very nice off the um, off the wedge. It does feel good, guys. It is very nice for chipping. Yeah, lovely. Feels nice. And as you can see, guys, it's stopping well, but again, it's what you expect. As well with these golf balls, we are gonna do a durability test and other good stuff. Chipping is done, so let's go and see what this golf ball's like out on the golf course. Okay, so we are on the par four here at Tinsley and I'm gonna hit a few iron shots. I'm gonna hit a six iron first and then we're gonna hit like an eight iron to see how soft this golf ball does feel. I actually had the wrong golf ball then, guys. <laughs> right, so this um, hole generally, we want to be down on the left hand side. I'm swinging it all right, guys. Um, so you'll have to bear with me um, on this one. I'm swinging it. Okay-ish. <laughs> he says, and absolutely ripped one. All right, so that was um, as good as it gets, really. We're gonna go uh, eight iron next. That felt, it felt soft, but I wouldn't say it felt massively soft, guys. I think Taylor made her, um, they are very finger, aren't they, at claiming things, guys, and saying how good things are and stuff but to me that felt you know felt like any normal golf ball really just 
draws on that one. Stay. Yeah, up the left hand side. Interesting, very interesting. It feels soft, but I wouldn't, it's not like at the minute, it's not like sort of blowing me away. Maybe that's because of the uh, interaction uh, with the mat guys. By the way, guys, if you are wondering what this metal contraption is on my driver, I am currently testing the gem golf training aid so stay tuned and hit the bell so you're notified when I do upload that video like I said my driver at the minute has not been going well this tailor-made golf ball could be an absolute donner and um, yeah I'm just trying to get the feeling guys uh, with the German stuff so you'll have to bear with me on the uh, driver shot hopefully I can do a good one uh, for the camera but we'll see And he has. <laughs> right, I'm not going to lie, off the driver face, that felt soft. Again, not very soft, but it did feel soft off the driver face. I pulled that one out of the bag, didn't I? So we're going to go down here and uh, we're going to see where these golf balls have gone. And then we're going to play these three shots again, just to test that softness. Also as well, I do want to talk about pricing with these golf balls. Now, these golf balls are, I've seen them for £21.99 on Clubhouse Golf and I've even seen them as cheap as I think 19 quid. What a deal. That is going to be this golf ball selling point, guys, I'm telling you now. I think you guys can see right there and then the eight iron, which just rolled for days right up there. There's actually not much in them, which is kind of bizarre. And then my driver one, which is all the way up there. That's lovely. So yeah, I'm going to be brutally honest, guys. Where I'm noticing the softness is off the driver face. Like, it's just butter. Right, so we're going to go driver again. Um, I'm really liking this golf ball off the driver face. That is a beaut. So in terms of distance, to me, it's just as good as any other premium golf ball. Oh, that felt so nice. There's a lot to like about this golf ball, guys. There really is. Wowzers, so one is on the green, just over there. And we've ripped that past it, the flag hit the flag. Oh my God. Yeah, I do apologize, guys. My putting has been dire to date. Let's see if we can drain this one, bloody hell. Not the tail made fault, but yeah, pulled up. Wowzers. Um, but yeah, honestly, on putting, guys, it does feel very nice off the put of, uh, off the put of face, guys. It does. It feels absolutely beautiful off the uh, put of face. That's actually a good putt for once. Okay, people. So off the put of face, this golf ball feels really good. A little bit of summary on the putting. I will do a few more putts. The putting. The feel of this golf ball off the putter face is exquisite. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay then, people. So, we're here on uh, the practice area at Tinsley. Really nice practice area. Um, I'm going to go pitching wedge. I don't know the actual distance of this. I don't have a uh, range finder, but these are tree in the way. Hopefully, the green will be all right so we can do a few practice putts. At the minute, I am really impressed with this golf ball and considering the price, it just baffles me. The price for the performance to this golf ball is just outstanding. Lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does feel very soft, guys. We'll do another one and then we'll go up and see where these have gone. Just left the face off. Oh, the sound is absolutely amazing guys it does feel good it feels it makes me smile because i remember when i used to use the callaway truvies and that golf ball felt amazing and that is no different guys it feels brilliant right so we have a bit of a mud ball but is yep it's a tailor-made that pitch there and that's how far we are off the green and then we have the other one which is on this banking right about here there we are now once upon a time this probably was cut better so i will 
jump back on another hole. So this green's not very good, guys. It is literally just a practice area. In the summer, it's probably cut better. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, jump onto another hole. I'm gonna do a bit of putting and then we'll get this video wrapped up. Okay, so we're on, um, the, we're back on the uh, hole number four and we're gonna do some putting and I'm gonna be able to give you guys a good test now, what it feels like off the putter face. So far, this golf ball has been just brilliant. Just sometimes I feel like we don't have to go mental with the tech and stuff. It's just a bit bizarre. That's very unlucky. But it does feel absolutely gorgeous off the putter face, guys. You know, as I mentioned before, off the driver and the putter face, it felt brilliant. Um, it's just really good, guys. And yeah, apart from my putting. So let's see if we can let's see if we can get these any better um but yeah we'll see Let, let's just um keep optimistic guys okay that's a better roll go on go on oh i'm gonna have to move that one out of the way i think yeah the feed, the feedback you guys the feedback you get off this golf ball off the butter face is nothing short of uh, amazing really guys i will say that it's absolutely brilliant go on oh that were better weren't it let's knock these in see how they are on the short is yep nice nice i do love a good knee knocker <laughs> i really do love a good knee knocker me oh yes yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> but off the putter face, like I say, um, it just um, brilliant. Oh, slammed it in. Love it. Feels great, guys. The roll as well, and to say these are winter greens um, it just feels brilliant. Also, last but not least, durability. How has this held up? As you can see, apart from the mud guys on it, um, nothing. Really good case, really good quality. That's just a bit of grass, but it has held up rather nicely. So then, people, to sum up this video, the TaylorMade Soft Response Golf Ball has blown my mind. It was really good at first, off the iron, I felt like the golf ball was soft, but I wouldn't say it's incredibly soft. Where you really notice the feel, I would say for me, is off the putter face, it feels like butter. Off the driver face, it feels like butter. Off the irons, it feels like a chrome soft, but in my opinion, not as soft. Chipping was good, it stopped nice, the driver shots flew very good. And let's not forget that amazing price, guys. That price point of £20 or £21, it varies from place to place, is astonishing for such a great premium golf ball. I would highly recommend these golf balls. I wouldn't say it's the furthest golf ball ever. It definitely hits as far as the premium ones, but it doesn't stick out as like, wow, that has gone miles further than the Pro V1 or whatever. But this is, a great golf ball and for the price this is probably the best golf ball i have tested and it is definitely worth a buy go pick some up guys you can't go wrong for the price point of these golf balls so that is it for this golf ball review thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like on it leave your comments down below subscribe because it really does help me and the channel post your comments down below Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I do upload a new golf ball review. And I will see you people in the next one. Goodbye.